Do you know more than 50% of healthy term babies and up to 80% of preterm babies suffer from neonatal jaundice? Hello parents, I'm Dr. Manish Malik, Director and Head of Neonatal Services at Max Smart Saket. I'm going to be talking to you about this common problem which is the newborn's jaundice. So jaundice is of two types. The common one is the unconjugated jaundice and the relatively rare one is what we call conjugated jaundice. So firstly, I'll talk to you about the common unconjugated jaundice, which is due to the immaturity of the baby's liver and is due to the breakdown of the red blood cells. So uh, as parents, you have to allow your pediatrician to decide when the serum bilirubin needs to be checked and at what level phototherapy needs to be given. Because the cutoff for phototherapy depends on the age of the baby, the gestation of the baby, and whether there is a mismatch between the baby and the mother's blood group. We need to also remember that uh, sunlight therapy is no longer recommended because the sun's rays can be harmful. They can cause damage to the baby's skin and overheat the baby. There is also a common myth that eating yellow colored food can increase the baby's jaundice. There is no truth. You can eat normal, healthy, home cooked meals. And we also need to remember that if the bilirubin levels are unchecked and they go very high, they can cause permanent and irreversible brain damage. So one needs to be very careful about the newborn jaundice. The best way of reducing the baby's jaundice is to make sure that the baby is well hydrated. So make sure the baby is uh, drinking enough milk and passing frequent urine and stool. And the other type of jaundice I spoke to you about is the conjugated jaundice. And this is usually due to a uh, disease of the liver or an infection or an obstruction to the flow of bilirubin. Uh, this is a more complicated and difficult to treat jaundice. It does not uh, get treated by phototherapy. Your doctor will be advising more blood tests, some scans and sometimes rarely surgery. If your baby's skin looks very yellow to you, then you must take your pediatrician's opinion and let your doctor decide how to take the treatment forward. I hope you found this information useful. And if you have any questions, you can put it down in the comment section below. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.